Okay guys, this is my second one. I'm going to slowly upgrade this one probably. I am actually take it out and see what it goes like with the research and everything I've done without doing any upgrades. Okay, so we'll recall this ship. Now, as a not maxed um, ship, it's mining at 187. So this is a kilowatt, but it's not maxed. We'll have a quick look, so that we can sort of compare so this is a crew I put on because it wasn't one of those sort of ships. So it's a tier 8. Needs just the warp drive upgraded. Which I could probably do, but we won't worry about that. Because we don't want to. We want to find our new number 2. Here we go. So it's not max, just out of curiosity, what's it going to need? Well, that won't be a problem at all. But first, I want to take it out, and or not even take it out, just take it over to that mine. So that's doubled already. So let's upgrade. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to upgrade this. cheap so that's the first level so we'll go back out probably should be writing these numbers down it doesn't look like it made any difference so it's at 394 I'll try and remember that for the next one so we'll go see if we can upgrade it again we've got the resources So it was 390. Oh, we've got to do the other that. And that's without doing any XP to it yet as well. So it was 394. So let's add about 10 to it. 10,000 an hour just for taking it up a tier. Okay, so let's go again. Oh, okay. So we're already into the rare. I didn't take that much notice the first time. I just upgraded it. Okay, so luckily through the event I was able to purchase these from the tokens. So I do have one of both. I decided I don't think I need to have more than two of them. Because I think two is going to be more than enough. Okay, so now, again, just added about 11, I think, this time, because I'm pretty sure it was 405. So it's, it's not making a big difference. The big difference, I think, on this ship is the XP as well. Okay, so this is where it's going to start costing us money, and I don't really want to spend that much money on this ship, because I need it for other things at the moment because of the event that's on. So we might sort of, how much, yeah, we don't have any XP, so we're gonna just leave that. It's still gonna be mining faster than what the other one was, and I'll probably finish upgrading in a couple of days. Due to the fact I want all the um, latinum I've got for the event at the moment, because I'm gonna need it for speed ups. So let's set that out. 
it is still not really near the mining power of this one. This one's at 90, 956, and this one's only 400. So it's still a lot more mining power than the, just using the other ship. But, um, yeah. It's still going to help me get my victory in the event. Which is, once I finish helping them, the event I'm talking about is this event. Just wanted to make sure I win this event again. Um, yeah. So, we'll see how we go. And, um... But the main event I'm trying to win at the moment is, I think, this one. Yeah. So, because then that'll give me, it should get, come close to give me more Riker. Um, I'm hoping that I can get the 11 shards I need more so I can get him to tier 2 without that. But I wonder what how many shards we're going to need to get him to tier 3. Um, I suppose I could used to be able to go to the other way of doing it. They shut that website down. Now, I'm going to make a video regarding, and I reckon everyone should do this, um, in donate money to, I'm going to think of his name in a minute. He's made a very good ripper. I reckon you should all donate some money to Ripper because his tool, which I don't want to show until I get his permission, I found it extremely interesting. I would love to show you the information that I have found, how good it is, but I don't know, if, listening to Ultimate DJ the other day, I don't know if he really wants it out there fully yet. If he's fully has, um, is promoting it. But it's a tool that's going to make it easier to work out the costs that it is costing you to, um, upgrade your, um, base. There was one there that I went and had a look. So, my ship hangar. And I think I might still have it on my computer. I still got it on my computer. Okay, so it says, for example, if you've done absolutely no research or anything, that this would cost you 40 million, sorry, 40 billion, and you can see with my research, I've got it down to 11.3 billion. So I found that very interesting, because obviously he hasn't put in so that you can put all your research in yet to give you a better, um, more up to date. But I found out how interesting it was to say that if I had done absolutely no research, this would have cost me 39.78 billion. Just in pastel alone. And titanium, it says 390 million. As you can see, it's only going to cost me 111 million. And what's it got? The common refined is 50,000. And as you can see, I need 30,000. So I need, shows you I need to do some research there. And the uncommon is 12,000. Whereas as you can see, I need 7,000. So all that pastel and titanium research that I've been doing to reduce the cost of upgrading my buildings that software he's got is showing how much difference it does make so yeah I just wanted to put that in there but I, before I make an absolute video about it I do want to contact Ripper first and see get his permission to be able to use his software to show you because it's still in early development phase in beta that I know of um, the other thing is if you go to ultimate, one of Ultimate DJ's latest videos, he actually showed you him using it. 
So, I would have a look at Ultimate DJ's videos if you haven't. It looks like a fantastic tool that everyone who plays Star Trek Fleet Command is going to want to use. Okay? And I can only see him getting it better. And what I heard, how much he got done in three days. I can't wait to see in three weeks what it's going to be like. Catch us later.